सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन अवर लास्ट क्लासेस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल द प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू टाइप वन टाइप टू ऑफ नॉन होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन अलॉन्ग विद द होमोजीनियस इक्वेशन वेर द वैल्यू ऑफ आर ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो नाउ वी आर कंटिन्यूंग विद द नॉन होमोजीनियस टाइप थ्री सोल्यूशन वेर द आर ऑफ एक्स इज अ पॉलिनोमियल ओके where r of x is determined as a polynomial okay the particular integral the complementary function part remains the same in all the cases okay only the particular integral formula is given as r of x by f of d right so here the r of x is a polynomial okay polynomial we know that it can be a quadratic polynomial cubic polynomial so the standard polynomial is ax square plus bx is equal to plus c is equal to 0 right this is the standard polynomial this is this would be of this form okay where a b c are constants so where r of x is a polynomial in x so let the x is be the this is the standard polynomial okay it is given as yeah so when the whenever the r of x is given as a polynomial here so here we need to find the particular integral using the division of polynomial so we have done some of the divisions for polynomials right in our uh, lower classes so in the same thing we are going to apply here so how we need to find the this division so we know that the formula for yp is given as r of x by f of d right where r of x is a polynomial where we need to write the polynomial of r of x here we call it in this division we call this as the dividend and this is called the divisor right where we need to write the uh, r of x in the descending powers okay and also and we need to write the f of d in the ascending powers of d for example the descending powers so let's take an example of the polynomial x square plus 4x plus 3 so if we want to write this in the descending powers so now the f r of x we need to replace it by we need to write the first terms in the reverse order so we can write it as 3 plus 4x plus x square divided by f of d f of d is should be written in the ascending power so descending powers means the least power should term should come first that is this is the least power term so there is no term so after that we need to go to the descending order so ascending powers means we need to write it as highest power term we need to write it as first for example d square plus 4d plus 4 okay so in this way we are going to solve these kind of problems so the division gets completed without any reminder so our goal is in this division we need to bring the reminder equal to zero okay without any reminder means we need to bring the reminder up to zero where whatever the quotient we get by solving in this division that quotient obtained is referred as the particular integral okay there is no much steps to follow to find the particular integral here only one division is required and whatever the quotient obtained is corresponds to the particular integral okay the complementary function part remains the same as it is okay so this was all about the third type that is type 3 so this type is not much important in the exam but uh, yeah i'm going to solve three problems in this session only and wind up this type 3 okay so now we'll solve few problems so this goes your first problem of this type 3 that is d cube minus 7d plus 6 into y is equal to 1 minus x plus x square. So here we can see that this polynomial given is inverted already. So we don't need to invert it again while solving for particular integral. Yeah, I'll tell you that how to solve it. So here this part again remains the same to find the complementary function that is put d is equal to m. So it would be m cube. So plus 0m square, m square is not there, right? Minus 7m plus 6 is equal to 0. So again, this is a cubic polynomial. So we need to apply the synthetic division, write the coefficients. So we need to find the first root. So this is your equation, x cube minus 7x plus 6. So we'll find the first root. First put the x as 0. So 1, yeah, c for 1 the value of this equation is 0 so the first root we got is m equal to 1 
So 1 1 is a 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, again 1 into 1 is 1, minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6, 1 into minus 6 is minus 6. So here we got it as 0. So now it is m square plus m minus 6 is equal to 0. So now use the quadratic equation, the value of b is plus 1, so minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square. So 1 square is 1, 4 into 1 into minus 6, right? 4ac is equal to minus 24, but in the formula we have minus, so it will be plus 24 divided by 2 plus or minus square root of 25 by 2 minus 1 plus or minus square root of square root of 25 by 2 is given as minus 1 plus or minus square root of uh, square root of 25 is 5 by 2 if for m is either minus 1 plus 5 by 2 or minus 1 minus 5 by 2 that is 5 minus 5 minus 1 is 4 minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6 2 1 is a 2 2 is a 2 1 is a 2 3 is a so the m is either 2 comma minus 3 these are the roots so the final particular sorry complementary function is c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power minus 3x right so now we are going to find the particular integral okay so here it is given as r of x divided by f of t is the standard formula so where the value of r of x is 1 minus x plus x square divided by f of d is d cube minus 7d plus 6. So here we can see that already the value of r of x is given in the descending powers itself. See the low least power is written first and also the f of d is given in the ascending powers itself. The highest power is written as first. Yeah. So this is of the uh, correct order to the division. So now we will dive, we'll dive into the division here, see, we are going to write it like this, where here inside we are going to write the dividend that is 1 minus x plus x square and outside we are going to write the divisor d cube minus 70 plus 6. Yeah, it's actually the reverse one, okay. So here. We need to reverse it. This should be in the ascending and the denominator should be in the descending order. Okay. Yeah, so I've done a mistake in writing there. Okay. So in the particular integral, I'm going to explain it again. The R of X term should be in the ascending powers, ascending increasing powers, and the F of D should be in the descending increasing descending powers. Okay. Yeah, so now this would be x square minus x plus 1 divided by this would be now 6 minus 7d plus p cube okay yeah, so in this way we are going to write the particular integral okay so this would be now 6 minus 7d plus d cube and this would be x square minus x plus 1 here okay here yeah. so now we are going to do the division part so here we have 6 and x square consider the first term now so here in order to get the answer as 6 square what we need to multiply with 6 see if you multiply 6 into x square by 6 we will get the answer as x square right if we cancel the 6 6 out we are going to get the answer as x square so here in the first thing you have to write x square by 6 in the quotient and here 6 into x square by 6 corresponds to x square now the left out terms are there right for this we are going to multiply the quotient okay and write the following answers which we get here along with this x okay so now what we are going to do is we are considering minus 7d minus 7d into x square by 6 okay so here minus 7 remains outside and d of x square by 6 means that is the derivative of x square by 6 so derivative of x square by 6 is again the derivative of x square is 2x by 6 right so now 2 1 is 2 3 is are so it will be minus 7x by 3. So now we are going to write it here minus 7x by 3. Okay. 
now d cube into x square by 6 so we need to take the derivative three times of x square by 6 so here what would we get d cube means here the first derivative is 2x by 6 right so the second derivative of 2x is 2 by 6 so again the third derivative would be the constant this is constant again right so this is the derivative of any constant is 0 so here we are writing it as 0 so now we are going to change the signs in order to cancel the first term okay we need to cancel all the first terms because the first terms here are same so in order to cancel these we need to minus it right in the same way all the terms which we have got it resulting we need to change its sign so this would be now plus so this would be minus so now these two terms gets cancelled since this is now minus x square so now 7x by 3 plus x okay that is 7x by 3 plus x so it would be 7x plus 3x by 3 corresponds to 10x 7x by 3 minus x right so now it would be 7x minus 3x that is equal to 4x by 3 right 7x minus 3x by 3 is equal to 4x by 3 so this is 4x by 3 here so here again 1 minus 0 is 1 plus 1 so now again consider the first term and the second term that is 4x by 3 so now 6 into how much we are we will we'll get the answer as 4x by 3 so we are going to check that first so 6 into 2x by 9 will give you 4x by 3 that is 12x by 9 3 4s are 3 3s are we will give you 4x by 3 so we will write that 4x by 3 and again the 7d of 2x by 9 is minus 7 into 2 by 9 right the derivative of 2x by 9 is 2 by 9 so it will be minus 14 by 9 plus the d cube of this is again 0 so again change the sign this is plus now so these two gets cancelled so the remaining term is 14 by 9 plus 1 that is equal to 23 by 9 okay so 14 by 9 plus 1 that is 14 plus 9 by 9 that corresponds to 23 by 9 okay yeah so now now in order to multiply it, uh, 6 into 20 what what 6 into how many will give you 23 by 9 the answer is 23 by 54 okay that is if we multiply 6 into 23 by 54 we will get it as 23 by 9 okay so the answer is 23 by 9 so take this minus sign in our goal is to make the remainder 0 right yeah so this is 0 so the final particular integral which we get is the quotient that is x squared by 6 plus 2x by 9 plus 23 by 54 so this is your required particular integral okay so in this way we are going to find it so now let's write the final answer so the final answer we got the complementary function as c1 e to the power x c2 e to the power 2x plus c3 e power 3x into the particular integral is x square by 6 plus 2x by 9 plus 23 by 54 so this is the particular integral and the final answer so yeah, like this we are going to solve these kind of synthetic division polynomial problems okay mostly they won't ask these kind of problems because these problems are asked in the next concept that is the mixed type okay that we are going to discuss the mixed type means the r of x right consists of all these three types okay for example these three types of uh, uh, things till now we have discussed that would be our r of x r of x would have all these three types in the mixed form so for that we need to take the particular integral uh, for example if there are three mixed type uh, three types of problems so three types till now we have discussed 
So in RFX we will consider all will consist of all these three types of terms. Okay, for that we need to take one one particular integral and solve it. So this it's a bit lengthy process, but it will be a fun to solve. Okay, yeah. So that's all for this session. So I have solved only one problem related to this particular integral since this is not so important concept. Okay, yeah. So that's all. So in the next session we are going to start with the mixed type of problems. Thank you.